friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in Chapter 6 and looking at the next topic is 6.3 factors to consider when implementing automation within new feature testing. In the previous tutorial, we understood the same the factors or steps required to implement automation within regression testing and in this topic we'll be talking about the new feature testing. So here are again some list of factors which would be considered when talking about implementing the test script or tests for automation with respect to new feature testing. In general, it is very easy to create automation tests for new functionality which is to be implemented because the best part is it is not yet implemented. The test automation engineers can share their views to the development organization what is that they expect to be present as a part of properties of each object or each functionality so that the tool can easily recognize them and it will be easy for the test automation engineer to create the automation test and framework. So that would be more convenient option to discuss with the development team and share the same. Additionally, when you talk about a new feature being introduced to the SUT, testers are required to develop new tests against these new features and corresponding requirements. So the TAE must collect feedback from the test designers with domain expertise and determine if the current test will meet the needs of the new features. Probably the tool might be existing from the additional time, the previous test cases as well. Now to existing, if you're adding a new feature, then of course the needs will be making sure that it meets the criteria. If a new feature is implemented with a different class or object, it might be required that the previous thing which you had already, the test which you had already created, may no longer be beneficial to you to execute a test on that particular component. So it is required for you to time to time to update the features or update your repository with the properties of the new object with different set of properties to run your test. There may be a requirement to evaluate additional testing tools to support the new environment under which the new functionality exists. To create a new functionality, sometimes it might be required that some additional softwares, additional environment changes will be required to be done. Now to do that, obviously in turn, in towards test automation solution also, we need to consider those changes. In continuation, we are talking about the new test requirements may affect existing automated test or testware components. So prior to making any changes, existing automated test should be run against the new updated SUT to verify and record any changes to proper operation of this existing automated test. So it might be sometime required that the requirements which are being created newly may affect the existing part of the automation test. That's from the point of regression. The things which are already existing may not be working fine. Now you're adding a new feature. It, must ha it might have an impact on the existing features. So executing the previously set test cases would be quite easy and helpful for you to determine if the test is still valid or you need to create a new set of test cases. Finally, one needs to determine if the existing tasks will continue to meet the current SUT needs or not. As you go on creating a new set of requirements or new features within an existing SUT, probably at some point of time your automation suit tool may not be sufficient enough to deal with all the criteria of the tool, of the SUT. So you may require to have an add-on support or maybe an add-in to be included within your task solution or it could be required to switch to a new tool. So when a new functionality is being introduced, this is an opportunity for the test engineer to make sure that the newly defined functionality is testable. During the test design phase itself, testing should take into account by planning to provide test interfaces which can be used by scripting languages or the test automation tools to verify the new functionality. So, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.